So the title of the show, Berlin nach 89, is a direct reference to the book Berlin nach 45 by Michael Schmidt. When did you first discover this project by Schmidt? I think it was probably 20 years already that I first saw the book and um, it's a work that he has done in the mid 70s and I would say it's pretty much influenced by the new topographic movement, photography movement from the US and yeah I mean he was taking pictures around Anhalter Bahnhof close to the area where he used to live and back then it was an area that was forgotten kind of city wasteland very like bombed out with a few buildings left over and he was uh, taking the pictures in this super straightforward documentary style and like with this approach like that only the photography is able to show the world as it is You've described your own images now in this series as a reenactment of Schmitz. Could you tell me about your working method? Yeah, my way of process or my way of working was to have this copy of Schmidt's book with me. Yeah, and sometimes I was checking out exact locations where pictures of Schmidt had been made, like trying to figure out the exact same viewpoint again. And then also in all areas I was looking for more like formal resemblances or correspondences. Sometimes it's just in the details that some surfaces are responding, that the materials are responding. The two years that yourself and Schmidt refer to signify major historical events, 45 being the end of World War II and 89 being the fall of the Berlin Wall. So not only is there this very formal technical resemblance, there's also this historical comparison. I mean, it's something that works on different layers. I think this is an interesting part for me, like using Schmidt's Berliner 45 as a score or choreography. And then you can, on one hand, you can compare it to Schmidt's work, but you can compare it also like in a time frame in order to get a connection to what kind of aftermath historical events are creating. I mean, it's like there's three areas where I've taken the pictures. So one area is, of course, like the area around Anhalter Bahnhof, the area where Schmidt used to go which is like the historical layer of Berlin before and after 45. And then the, the second historical layer is the area around Ostbahnhof, which used to be Hauptbahnhof in GDR time, the central station of GDR, which is of course then the historical layer for Berlin before 89. And then the third area where I was going is uh, around Hauptbahnhof, it's called Euro City, and it's like a huge areal where investors were allowed to build whatever they want. I could maybe even look at it like a museum of hyper hardcore capitalism <laughs> <laughs> for what was happening. And so, of course, then this is a historical layer of what's going on now. So, going back to your working method, um, I know a lot of work went into producing each of these images. You built a lab in your flat. <laughs> and develop them all yourself by hand. Yes. Was this an important part of the process for you? Yes, it was important because I, it's also like important part of the reenactment or to do it really like exact and precisely like Schmidt used to work. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I mean, I was able to enlarge one image per day or something, but it's also a great material process. I think it's fair to say that this series is quite different to your previous work. How have you found the whole process in comparison? Oh yeah, I mean like in advance of this process, I like took the big break of making works. And I think what's different is like that I really, really like paid a lot of attention to precision and that I allowed myself to work quite slowly and also in a very, very long time frame. But I pretty much enjoyed it. Like I want to continue in this way of working where I can really take some time in order to get into the work.